In 14 spots around the Treasure Valley, new installments invite you to take part in science. It's called Bee Watch. Now this box, it might not look like much, but it actually is representative of the type of habitat about 30% of our native bee species would like to live in. And it's part of a new citizen science initiative to study bees locally. I, I really love plants and you know, we can't have plants without bees. Martha Brabeck, ecologist and Foothills Restoration Specialist with Boise Parks and Rec, said little is known about native bees. And there isn't enough time and capacity in the scientific community to, to be everywhere all at once. And so by utilizing community scientists, we can maybe understand a larger breadth of bee diversity. Participation in Bee Watch as a citizen science is meant to be easy. Simply scan the QR code at the site, then spend 15 minutes observing the box, taking notes or pictures of what you see. At the Foothills Learning Center, even after accidentally knocking the box during my experiment, nothing came out after 15 minutes. At that point, you can explore the surrounding habitat to see what's out and about. One trick to finding bees, listen for a gentle hum which turns into buzzing the closer you get. We recommend that people go in the morning just because that's often when bees are active. Every year the boxes will get replaced, but as a pilot project, the main priority for Parks and Rec is to test the program's success. So we were curious if A, our restoration efforts are increasing bee diversity, and um, B, what kind, of bees, what kind of bees are actually out there in sites where there's a lot of invasive species. After your experiment, upload any pictures to iNaturalist and complete the city's survey on your observations. Geneva Zoltek, Idaho News 6.